four days into 2020, I find out that my husband of nine years cheated on me with my best friend. Um, and I left him and I moved to Pennsylvania and started my life clean. Two days into 2021, I find out that a guy that I've gotten pretty serious with is still fucking his ex. What's the weirdest way you've ever caught a cheater? My friend caught her boyfriend cheating because he was asking the Alexa to play lovemaking music when she wasn't there. And she's a smart girl and looked at the Alexa voice recording history on the app and she literally saw him asking Alexa turn the lights off Alexa play this love making playlist Alexa and she actually pushed one of the recordings the playlist, the top 50 most played oh I did I did not want you to be involved what is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating so my ex that I lived with two years ago um, he lived an hour from my job and on the nights that I would work 16 hour shifts, so seven o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night, I would stay at my parents' house because nobody wants to drive an hour after working 16 hours. It was just safer for me to drive 20 minutes to there. So on a Friday evening, I went home and whenever I got there, I had to go to the bathroom. So I went into the bathroom, did my thing. And as I was pulling my pants up, I just so happened to look to my right in the trash for some reason and seen a tampon. Keep in mind, I was on depot shot and I never had my period. And so I picked it up out of the trash. Disgusting, I know. Picked it up out of the trash, snapped a picture of it to him, and I said, what the fuck is this? He didn't open the Snapchat by the time he got home. So when he got home, he asked me what was wrong. And I said, whose fucking tampon was in the trash? And his face pale as fuck. So a couple years back, I was texting some girl that I used to have a decent crush on in high school. We always sent pictures, but we never did anything. We always made plans to do something, but she always flaked. So when we started texting, it was after high school and she had a family. Yeah, she had a kid and a boyfriend. At the time, I didn't really care. I was just doing my thing. I just wanted to hit it, finally. So we're texting, we're sending pictures again. She's sending pictures like crazy. And she hits me with the, I think I'll actually let you hit this time. Bet. But every time she would send stuff, she would tell me, make sure you delete all of this. And of course, I did. So I was assuming that she was doing the same. Days go by, days go by. And I end up getting this text. Are you and blah, 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 exchanging pictures? I didn't add it for a bit, for her. But I ended up coming clean. But my question is, how did we get caught? Like, I want to hit her up one day and be like, yo, what the fuck happened? I'm not, but I hope nothing but the best for them. Everyone like that story about how my boyfriend and the best friend like told me to leave while they were having a threesome that was supposed to be with me. Well, I have another one that's even better. When I was 17, I was living with like a 42 year old that like wasn't doing good things. And we were together for like two years. Uh, we were sharing a car the whole time he worked the graveyard shift at Walmart. The whole time. One night he forgets his lunch or dinner or whatever and like good girlfriend I was trying to be a good girlfriend. I'm always trying to do well and then this is how shit happens. I find out. I'm like, hey, where's Jason? Um he forgot his lunch. He hasn't worked here for six months. Okay. Never do this. I never do this so much that it wasn't even hidden. I go on his computer, just open it. Mail seeking mail on Craigslist. But when I moved in, he had a bunch of women's clothing. He said it was his ex-girlfriend's. I could have all of it. Turned out he was wearing it. Story time about when my best friend accidentally told her boyfriend that she was cheating on him when she meant to tell me. So to give you a little background on them, they had been dating since the seventh grade and we were seniors in high school. But then she meets another guy. Dylan was his name. She had all the same classes with Dylan, and she had been telling us that they had been sexting and sending nudes, but that she hadn't actually cheated on him yet. She couldn't make up her mind of what she wanted to do with the two boys because she loved her boyfriend. Oh, and the worst part about it that I haven't told you yet is Dylan and her boyfriend were really good friends. So we're at a high school party with Dylan and her boyfriend and all of our friend group when we can't find her anywhere and we also can't find Dylan. Like for part two. 
Story time about how my best friend accidentally told her boyfriend that she cheated on him when she meant to tell me. So we're at this party and we can't find her anywhere. So we all start freaking out and texting her and we're like, dude, your boyfriend is looking for you. So she texts us back and tells us she's with Dylan. So we're all freaking out trying to distract her boyfriend. Meanwhile, her boyfriend is getting hella sus. Next thing you know, I can't find my phone anywhere. Her boyfriend took my phone and locked himself in the bathroom with it. Next thing you know, She's texting him thinking it's me telling him everything about the hookup. In detail. Even said that her boyfriend's best friend was better in bed. So they broke up. And that's how you get caught for cheating after six years. Cheater, cheater, cheater. I'm guessing he's a cheater. Last year he cheated on me and we broke up for two months and then got back together. I have a feeling that he's cheating again. He's very flirty and has a huge ego. He even said that he would break up with me if I didn't lose 15 pounds. What? That's honestly just messed up. Let's see how this goes. Hey there. Hello. How are you? Good. Who are you? I actually saw you at the gym the other day and I just was too shy to say hi. He just says to the gym that he goes to with a question mark and I'm like, yeah, you looked pretty hot. Thanks. How come you have so many followers? Are you a model or something? I mean, yeah, I am, of course. Haha, <laughs> no, I'm not, but let's just say I am. Oh, damn, no wonder you're gorgeous. Aw, thank you. And then I ask if he's single, and he says, yes, are you? When I say yes, and I want to get to know him better, he literally asked for my number to FaceTime tonight. So I asked the girlfriend to send me her number so I can send it to him. So I send him his girlfriend's number, and I guess he doesn't know it by heart. But let's see what happens when he FaceTimes his girlfriend tonight. Part two, let's go. This man asked me to FaceTime tonight, so instead of sending him my number, I send him his girlfriend's number, and obviously he didn't catch on because he said, thanks, talk to you soon. Obviously, he's gonna be a bit confused when he presses my number and his girlfriend's contact pops up. So this is what happened after. So obviously he caught on and he called her and said that it was messed up for her to do and that he was just playing along but we all know that boy wasn't just playing along he was straight up cheating she's like i know he said he's wanted to break up with me for a while now because he's not attracted anymore since i gained weight what this girl is absolutely beautiful i have no idea what this guy is talking about but honestly i'm glad that they broke up because she doesn't deserve that piece of crap this boy belongs to the streets 